Taylor here for creating the cakes and the arts and things and today we are doing fix it Friday hey what I am showing you how to fix today is that shine on your cake now here's the thing about the shine on the cake or better yet the cake accessories which is what you usually need the shine on now there are several different ways that people have told you how to put a shine on your cake one is by steaming the other is by using shortening and um, the other is by using something like an edible uh, you make it with gelatin it's like an edible varnish basically um, I don't know even what all it is but it's gelatin and something else I've used it before and here's the thing the gelatin with whatever the something else is is great the edible varnish is good because it adds a great shine but it's very difficult to work with you have about 2.2 seconds once you spread it or else it'll start gumming up and basically it'll look like I don't know like snot on whatever you're painting it's weird so I was thinking about how I could do this and it was very haphazard how I ran across this method but what I started using was corn syrup and um, vodka now the corn syrup obviously adds a shine but you also want it to become dry and kind of you know you want it to set so that's where the vodka came in I was like well if vodka can set you know the highlighter or the colors or the whatever else you're trying to set then why not for the corn syrup? So basically all I do is equal is mix just about equal parts corn syrup. I just eyeball it. Equal parts corn syrup and vodka. Okay, if you're giving this to children, you may want to use vanilla extract, although that has a lot of alcohol in it. You may or may not know this, but it does. Um, you can also use imitation vanilla. I don't think that has any alcohol, but don't quote me on that. Um, because you don't want to give this to the to the kitties, okay? But basically, if you're trying to do something like, say like this cupcake. Alright, so this cupcake has some icing simulated on top. Basically, it's two pieces of fondant. So I use a circle cutter. There's um, buttercream underneath, and then I use a circle cutter to cut out the pink fondant and lay it on top. And then I just kind of freehand cut this white um, fondant and laid it over top but what I want the white fondant to look like is um, royal icing I want it to look like wet icing on top of the cupcake so in order to do that and in order to have it be permanent a perma shine I'm going to use my corn syrup so you just basically take it your equal parts in a paintbrush and you paint along your fondant All around, all around. And then to further decorate the cupcake, it would be cute if you just take a little cherry that we formed here and then take your edible pearl dust dust it all along your cherry make it really pretty and shiny and you could even take a little buttercream and add a little buttercream swirl right on top and then place your cherry on okay so cute such a cute simple cupcake all right now this is also okay now I want to show you because you want to let this dry obviously but I want to show you here one that we did and what it looks like when it's dry it's literally still super shiny okay I mean this has been drying for a very long time <laughs> all right so I'm not kidding this stuff when I say it stays shiny it stays shiny so this is excellent you can use it for like Anything that needs to look like patent leather, shiny handbags, shoes, or anything that you want to look like icing. If you want it to look like um, poured chocolate, that's another thing that this stuff is really great for. Anytime you want to add shine to your cake, forget about all that other stuff. 
use this corn syrup and vodka to make sure it will not let you down. All right, thank you guys for this Fix It Friday, um, or, or thank you for watching this Fix It Friday, rather. Uh, please join me next week for another Fix It Friday. It is going to be awesome. And if you have any questions or comments, Doop, doop, doop. leave them below this video if you have any fix it questions we want to hear those okay leave those below for us let us know what you need help with i will be making a video answer to all your fix it questions and if you want to leave them on our instagram page we can do that too bye Peace.